This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a lady who wants to know about elotuzumab, a commercial name Implicity. And this is uh, an important question about a new immune therapy, which is frequently not that much in the news. Uh, however, this is a timely question because just this week on November the 6th, uh, 2018, the FDA did in fact approve a new indication for the immune therapy uh, elotuzumab. The FDA approval is for the use of elotuzumab combined with pomalidomide and dexamethasone for the treatment of relapsed or refractory myeloma in patients who have received at least two prior therapies which must have included the use of lenalidomide, uh, otherwise known as Revlimid, uh, and uh, a proteasome inhibitor such as Valcade, Kyprolis, or Ninlaro. And so in this group of patients, the FDA has approved the use of what's called the EPD combination, uh, elotuzumab, pomalidomide, and dex. The good news is that this combination produced results better than the pomalidomide and dex alone with uh, an improvement in the remission by over four months. Also, there was almost a doubling of the number of patients who responded to this uh, three drug combo with uh, over 55% um, of the patients responding to EPD and around 26% of the patients responding to the PD alone. And so uh, much better results uh, and in this important relapse uh, patient group. In addition, uh, this combination was very well tolerated, including the infusions. In this case, uh, the uh, elotuzumab is given by IV infusion, but these infusions are generally very well tolerated, and the overall uh, side effects and toxicities of this regimen uh, were uh, rather uh, limited, well tolerated as a combination. And so, bottom line, elotuzumab is a very important immune therapy and has just been approved by the FDA as part of this EB the EPD combination. So good news for patients, an important new combination therapy that's available uh, for use.